the agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, and JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pat Qatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaro is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pak Katari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground.
A senior rebel leader named Amaru has been captured by the cartel. Interrogate a Santa Blanca lieutenant for Amaru's location, then go and extract him. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Whoa. Hostiles in the area, stay frosty. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. Rally on me. A copy. Moving. I got a target carrying submachine guns. I'm getting in position. Good to go. Going on. We good? Shit got close for a second there. Enemy activity nearby. The drone is up. Got another tango. I got 
a narco over here, by the watchtower. Back it up, back it up. We're cool, we're cool. Roger, let me get in position. Ready to engage. Heads up, Narco with a submachine gun. That guy's Next history. That's calm gear. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron! What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you! We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit. If they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Got another tango. Okay, we're cool. I'm spotting another tango, and Baby makes three. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. Looks like they're feeling froggy. I think that's all of them. We've got enemy activity nearby. Taking the bike. up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. 
If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be... ...dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. I see a second target. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. Here's target number five. Tango marked. He's a little close to civilians. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. Hold up. There's a weapons case here. Fire. Copy. Tango is down. Frag out. No targets present. We done? Shit, kinda got all excited there. I've been wanting one of these. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. <laughs> These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. Back to your friends. Entonces Pac Katari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor.
Check it out. Weapons case. Ah, I could use this. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si! Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's got to know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Plito is coming through. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, La Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. That's the rundown on La Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on their chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out.
Rally up, people. I copy. Moving. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you may be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Atari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. We're Spot taking orders from Pack Atari now? Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. That makes five. Rally on me. Copy. I'm moving to position. Ready to fire. Enemy down. Yo, cartel gunman, by the helo. Deploying drone. Oh fuck, they're heading this way. Ready? Open fire. Roger that. Frag out. Get some. Engaging Tango. Get to cover. We got a 20 in the garage where Plito parks his sports car. We snag that, we snag his GPS. Maybe something there tells us where he and his girlfriend are. That's one down. Got a tango. Target down. You want to check this spot out for intel? Yo, I got a weapons case here. Looks like the filling. God damn it, the cartel sent reinforcements.
No hostiles fire. evident. You guys all good? Damn, I love this job. Got the location for an SB network station. Let's shut it down. I got it. I'll fly. I'm on. Let's go. Ready? Fire, fire. I have a shot. I got that guy's history. We're clear. That's one antenna. Time for number two. We probably used up half our time. Keep moving. The Rebels will be harder to fight and force if the cartel can't keep track of their positions. Let's hope more Rebels join the party. We've got a location on El Polito's personal car. Steal it, so our techs can analyze the car's GPS for intel. Rally up, people. Roger that.
Enemy activity. Stay sharp. Hold your position. Copy. This is the garage. Sound off if you spot Polito's car. Roger that. I got a third target. Tango marked. He's a little close to civilians. He makes five. That was fucking close. That makes five. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. Ready? Fire. Roger. Moving to position. Taking a shot. Say the word. Shit balls. Grenade, get to cover. Frag out. Frag out. Get some. There it is. Eyes on Polito's car. That's it, we're clear. This car is swanky. And there's a bloody condom in the glove box. Make that two bloody condoms. Guess that confirms it's Yuri and Polito's ride. Even if the condoms come standard, it's a sweet fucking car. I never could understand a narco blink. You get an expensive whip, put chrome rims on it, then you just drive it around the same dusty towns you were driving around before. You totally want one of these cars, don't you? Fancy car, fancy suit, still the same street, so what's the point? Air conditioning.
All right, now it's up to Bowman and the activity. They'll check the car's GPS for locations where Yuri and Polito may be hiding out. Let's go. Hello, get out. Rachel forgets that we're I'm in, let's go. It is all right to admit that you're scared. Because when there's fear, there is always hate. And hate will serve you well in our fight against Santa Blanca. Rebel forces have just killed two of the most hated and feared members of the cartel, Yuri Ippolito, torturers responsible for dozens of Bolivian deaths. Take your hate and join us in our fight against the cartel. We can rid our country of these foreign criminals. Together, we will create the future we want. Together, we can build a new Bolivia! Damn! This is DJ Perico with the news alert. They're shooting old ladies out there. Rebels have gunned down Madre Coca and her entourage outside her home in Tabacal. Damn, I know I kind of kidded around about how mean she was, but shit! If she's dead, they must have used fucking silver bullets! Madre Coca is survived by no one, because no one loved La Vieja Cabrona. In response to the killing, Santa Blanca and Unidad are increasing their presence in the province. All you viejas out there, be careful! Always go out armed, because you never know if you'll be next. Descansen paz, pues. Hang back, they see you. Drag out. Tangles heard the blast. They're looking for trouble. Ready? Open fire. Roger that. Fuck. Engaging. Shit, they spotted us. Nicely done. With less cartel stations on the air, the rebels will be able to move into the area. Pakatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to count on his support in sure the future. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. Ready? Fire, fire, fire! Copy that. Fuck, engaging. Escort destroyed. The lieutenant's trying to escape. Hey, chill out. Escape. We don't need to die. Army unit up ahead. That's gonna come. Get things. Combo truck secure. We'll send the location of the radio gear to the rebels. Pakatari's got some brass ones. I'll give him that. Give that fucker an inch, and he'll take a mile. If he can get us to Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done.
Dig in. The cartel's gonna hit this place hard once that transmission starts. We got tangos. Danger close. Fire. We rattle their cage. Roger. I have a shot. Engaging. That tango's down. Fuck, man. That was a civilian. We know we're here. Be careful. I'm engaging tangos. Sniper, down, down. I'm moving to position. The emitter's getting hit pretty hard, people. The emitter can't take much more. Ready Frag to fire. Out. I'm near the culeros. Show's over. That ought to get the rebels fired up. Well done, compadres. My speech was heard all over Bolivia. It is only a matter of time before the people rise up and join our cause. Viva la revolucion! Glad we could help. Now what have you got on Yuri and Polito? Nothing yet, amigo. Those two, they cover their tracks well. But my people are working on it. We will know something soon. In the meantime, my revolutionary brothers in Itaqua stand ready to help if you need them. Just call, and they will come. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs>